for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL-TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a certain category. Today's category is Fun with Fusion. I'm Katie, and as usual, I'm joined by Elizabeth and Beth, who will tell us about their recipes. So Beth, tell us what you chose today. Sure thing. So I made this dish pretty soon after we revealed what our categories were going to be. So that was back in March. It's so it's been a few months since I made it. And as I'm looking at the recipe now, I'm my mouth is watering. So I made miso butter chicken. And I've been hearing about it. And then I saw a recipe on you know the New York Times that I couldn't access. So I just looked up one and I'm gonna just go right to that. It was by um nerdswithknives.com it's miso chicken garlic with miso chicken garlic sauce it it takes uh eight skin on bone in chicken thighs some unsalted butter softened a half a cup of white miso a little bit of maple syrup with some ginger eight garlic cloves unpeeled but lightly smashed a little rice vinegar and so you mix the uh liquid stuff up and you massage all that the the butter the miso the maple syrup massage it all into the chicken underneath the the skin and everything and just like totally you know cover it um and then you put it in a single layer in a roasting pan or in your skillet uh in, in a 400 degree oven and place the garlic cloves in there and then it just gets super crispy and um you take it out you know once it's cooked and then take the garlic and mash that up with the sauce take you know the skins off mash it up pour it on the chicken and with some scallions and yum y'all i as i was um making it i couldn't remember what kind of fav flavor profile miso had and then but I remembered because I, you know, it tastes like miso soup, you know, just all, but there's so many like layers of goodness between the the garlic and the miso and the yum, yum. What else? Ginger. So good, you guys, that I'll be making it again as soon as, as, soon as I want to turn my oven on again. I've been wanting to make, um, a miso butter chicken for a while I like you Beth I keep I've seen it come up in my perusing of recipes it always sounds so good um your recipe sounded really easy too not yeah, all yeah super all. Easy. Yeah. um so now this is made it go higher on my list yeah of and things to make <clears throat> I just yeah I'm gonna buy some more miso I was um Anyway, yeah. What were you I haven't say, seen this Katie? recipe before, so this is new. This is all new to me. I can't exactly picture or think of what that what the taste is. So, like, like you said, with the flavor profile, like I know what miso soup tastes like, but I can't figure out how it would taste with all the other flavors that you mentioned. So that's really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I like it's oh. real good. Oh yeah. I mean, it's so good. Sorry to interrupt. I no, know that. I, um, <laughs> and I might be on a little bit of a delay here. So uh anyway, but um what did you serve it with? Yeah. Of course I don't really remember, but I it was because it was in March, but probably some rice. Um that's what I figured. I, I mean that makes sense. Serve it with rice. Yeah. yeah. Um maybe it was potatoes, but I I feel like I would have used rice because of the sauce and it was yeah it was really really good just all that garlic num num so yeah uh well elizabeth what was your fusion dish okay so mine was a fusion of a few different things it was kind of an italian greek 
Israeli situation. Um, and I cooked from, so this cookbook I held up last time, but I have it out from the library. Um, I've had it out for the past, it's almost due. So I've been using it a lot and I've really enjoyed the recipes. And this is where I found my fusion recipe. So it's for uh, marinated agridolce, sweet peppers and cannellini bean salad with pearl couscous. Um, so I didn't know what agridolce was. Apparently that's an Italian sauce with vinegar and onion where the onion like caramelizes in the vinegar kind of as you slowly, slowly cook it. But we're not doing that in this version you use bell pepper. So this was fabulous. Um, I, this was really good. I'm excited to tell you guys about it. So first what you do is you make marinated peppers. So you take three large bell peppers. I used a red, a yellow, and an orange for the different colors. And you heat them in two tablespoons of oil in a large skillet and just let them cook for a good 10 minutes until they're almost, they're quite soft and they're getting that char on them like the, that they'll get. And then while you're doing that, in a, it says in a large wide mouth jar or a medium bowl, I just used a bowl, you combine a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, three thinly sliced garlic cloves, two teaspoons of sugar, I used honey, um, and then um, some salt and black pepper. You mix that all together. And then you, when the peppers are done, you use tongs to throw them into the bowl and just toss and coat. Let that sit for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, you add um, another, you add a half a cup of olive oil and you add a half a cup of loosely packed fresh basil leaves. Toss again, let it sit for another 30 minutes. So it seems like this wouldn't be a weeknight recipe, but I just started, I just did that right when I got home from work. And then, you know, I went and sat outside, read my book, and then just came back in because it's not really time intensive. You just, it just, I mean, it takes a little bit, of, you know, it takes two minutes to do that, but it has to sit for a little bit. So then once that, so it takes about an hour, but then you, then you throw together super quick. So you make um, your Israeli couscous, pearl couscous, um, and then you drain and rinse it until, until it cools off just a little bit. And then you're going to assemble the salad. So you have that in a bowl, you have, um, some sliced green olives and uh, two cans of rinsed cannellini beans. And then it called for two things I did not use. It called for a half cup of golden raisins, which I do not like raisins, so I skipped. Also called for a teaspoon of toasted fennel seeds. And fennel's not my flavor, so I skipped that. But so skipped both those. And then you tong the peppers out of the marinade, add them to the salad toss it all together and then drizzle the marinade over as the dressing kind of to the amount of your liking. So I had a little bit left over, but I used most of it. And then you top with some more um, fresh basil. So this was amazing. I loved it. This is, I took, I'm definitely saving this recipe. I have a picture of what mine looked like, um, which I'm going to share, but that's what it looks like in the cookbook. And mine, I have actually took a picture of mine next to it. So you can see. Um, and this was a big, big hit for me. So I really liked it. And um, you could certainly top it with some nice chicken or um, some kind of protein if you wanted, but I left it veg and also wanted to note it's dairy free. So for folks who don't do dairy could be a good option. So yeah, that was my fusion recipe. I love that. That sounds amazing. Um, I also like it sounds amazing as is and like when you got to the bell peppers mixing those all charred up with the dressing that's when my mouth started watering that sounds amazing but I also think that you could really use this as a base and like do a lot of different things for it like chickpeas instead of cannellini beans or like throw some other veg in there so that's I love a diverse recipe like that and your different spices that you could use that sounds great awesome <laughs> Sounds like a great thing to use when you have a, a lot of peppers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. And it was interesting because this, like I said, the agrodolce apparently is this Italian onion 
kind of thing, but there didn't call for onions, but I actually thought you could have thrown an onion in with the peppers and that would have been nice. So I might try that next time. So yeah, or anyway. mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, okay, Katie, what was your fusion? Yes, yes. All right, so my recipe is for enchilada meatball bake. It's from the website joecooks.com. So these are basically enchilada flavored meatballs. And I, so it's like Italian Mexican fusion. I love uh, meatballs and I love enchiladas. So this is a no brainer for me. I'm like, let's do this. So um, the first thing that you do is make your meatballs and you can do this up to a day ahead of time, make your mixture uh, just for prep if you want to do that. But it's ground pork, ground beef, a can of enchilada sauce, a, a chopped jalapeno, uh, two minced cloves of garlic, some chopped fresh cilantro, chopped fresh oregano, some a whole bunch of chopped green onions, and then a cup of breadcrumbs and salt and pepper. And you just mix that all together with your hands. I loved how much... Um, veg and herbs were in these meatballs. I don't know that I've ever made meatballs that had that much green inside them. So that I thought was really cool. Um, so you just like uh, form them into golf ball size balls and you put them on a parchment lined uh, baking tray. Uh, you get about 30 meatballs from this recipe. So it's pretty big dish. Uh, so you just uh, Cook your meatballs in the oven until they get like toasty brown, about 30 minutes. And then in a large cas casserole dish, you take another can of enchilada sauce and pour that all over the bottom. And you take some Monterey Jack cheese, sprinkle that over top of the enchilada sauce, and then you place your meatballs into your baking dish. Top it with some more Monterey Jack cheese, of course. And then... um you bake that again for another 20 minutes until the cheese melts and it starts to brown on top. And then it says you can sprinkle it with optional toppings if desired. Those are cilantro, green onions, jalapenos, tomatoes, avocados, salsa, and sour cream. We did none of that. We just ate it as is and it was absolutely delicious. I really, really liked this and um, it was very easy. And uh, the leftovers, like meatballs usually are, were great. So it was a good recipe. I liked it. I don't know why it's never occurred to me to make kind of like Mexican meatballs. It seems perfectly logical and it <laughs> sounds delicious. But like, I think when we hear meatball, we like we automatically go to italian flavors or whatever but or swedish for me yeah one of the other <laughs> but yeah i've never thought yeah. of it before either oh yeah, yeah. Swedish. yeah of course yeah so did i miss something there's no like uh like gluten there's no corn tortilla no. there's there breadcrumbs was... breadcrumbs in the meatballs oh, and then that would be it mm -hmm. oh and that's it. okay okay yeah. so it's just like the sauce the cheese the meat yummy yep. oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> I yeah. like it too. And honestly, I mean, meatballs, you could prep it the day before, but you don't, it's not that big of a deal though. It's really them together, not. you know. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. I just make them. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Um, we Kurt makes will make enchilada sauce. I don't I don't know how. I think he just looks it up and it with tomato it's tomato sauce and spice and seasoning. So yeah, okay. it's not hard to make your own enchilada sauce too it's also not hard to buy the little jar from the store i'm just <laughs> saying <laughs> i know i know it is but uh yeah just taste. But, no that's cool that's cool to know i would not have thought to make my own enchilada sauce so that's good to know that it's easy to do for sure especially like if you have leftover gravy or something you can make it with that but anyway you go finish this out <laughs> okay i will well, we want to thank you for watching Recipe Share and be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes that we talked about and to share your own in the comments. Join us next time when our category will be cooking with kiddos. We're looking forward to seeing what you've been making, so thanks for sharing. Yes.